Pat O'Neill, three familiar buildings in the Westport area. Mm -hmm. And they're yours. They are. Um, what do you call them? Uh, I, I use pen and ink. It was the ink. old inkwell and a nib. There's no other materials involved other than the paper I draw onto. So. And pencil, so there's pencil in there. Mm. And how did you get into this? Uh, I think it goes back a long time. I think my grandfather was a sergeant uh, in the guards. And I remember him always writing with a fountain pen. Mm -hmm. And you know, something magical about that. Mm -hmm. And I gave it a go really late in life. I, I think it was in my 20s when I tried my first one. But uh, I love the technique. It's slow. It's, uh, you can't rush it because the nib only holds so much ink uh, mm -hmm. before you have to dip, dip it into the ink bottle again. So. And are you self-taught? Yeah. Because they're very realistic. They're like photographs, actually. Yeah. Um, that yeah, that that type of a pro, uh, technique. Um, I don't know. It lifts the painting, which is quite useful because there's no other color involved. You know, it's just black, hmm. black ink, bank, black writing ink, and pencil. But if you draw it properly and you check, you you know, you prepare the background scenery and so on, then it can lift uh, the building off of its uh, background. And that's part of the technique. And which building do ever hear? I might go through them. Yeah, we'll go through the, um, yeah, I think, interesting enough, this is one that became very familiar to me. I lived in uh, near Balcarra, or Ballydavoc, to be specific. And this was walking distance from where I lived in, in, in Mayo for the first time. This is my first house. That's Moore Hall. That's Moore Hall, mm -hmm. the George, George Moore and family. And it's situated probably in one of the most beautiful places on the shores of Loch Carra. Mm -hmm. It's been renovated at the moment. Mayo County Council are working on it. The wall gardens out there are being developed or being bought back. So it's a wonderful place and I'm glad to see. So. Oh, it's beautiful, yeah. And uh, I mean, the, the more hard is a wreck now. Mm, there's no roof. And uh, how did you manage to get the detail into it? Did you, did you, did I did you with your imagination? I, had <laughs> 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 I have an imagination, but it's not that good. But uh, no, I would do research. Uh, unlike the other two, they're, they're already there. Mm. Um, the house itself, in terms of physical structure there, Ollie, is, is there. Yeah, the, the shell roof, is there, yeah. Yeah, the roof is gone. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of growth inside, but I would have used a book called, I think we talked about that, Stefan, who's here, who's kindly given me the wall space in his uh, uh, rare books shop, uh, a book by Hone, uh, it's called The Moors of Moor Hall, mm -hmm. and it has one not very clear photograph in it, at mm -hmm. least give me a reference point. Okay. That, yeah. So now we move over to Newport House. Yes, absolutely, a place we, I think we all, we all pretty We're much all familiar with that. Too. Famous as a fishing lodge, but also from a very important visitor, Princess mm. Grace would stay there. Mm. Um, it is a gorgeously built home, uh, quite proportional, which a lot of these buildings are. They're mm. really proportional buildings. Uh, this has um, kind of bay ship or bell windows here. You can see them there. Mm. Um, it's, it's open for, for visitors. This Obviously, with COVID this year, it isn't open for business, but... Uh, you, many people pass it, you know, en route to Mulrani and onwards to Ackle Island. Um, but you almost have to slow down before you get to the bridge mm. and look across the river. And there she sits. It's a, beaut it's a beautiful house. So that was the home of the O'Donnells? That's correct. They were landlords down that area, mm -hmm. down Newport. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I rely on you, Ollie, for the historical pieces of this house. <laughs> I just draw them. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, can I just say, say something? My, I drew these in the States. I must have been getting kind of sentimental for me mm. or something. But my two kids were young and I gave them the nib and they're in there in that drawing. They, they drew themselves in. They put the bits in. You're like a Where's Waldo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and then this is the Mall in Westport. Probably the, the more well-known of all the places here because you, it's Westport, it's the Mall, a beautifully uh, designed Mall. Um, that is the Railway House Hotel. And I stayed there as when we came back from Belgium, uh, Warren, who you know, and stayed there for his first six months. Mm -hmm. So he became very familiar. And I loved it there. It was a really old world. And you can imagine there are these little carriages coming down from the station, dropping their guests in the doors on the, on the edge of the bar mm -hmm. and right in the heart of Westford. That must have been a wonderful era. And uh, lots of good, I have lots of good memories about that. And I think if we stood there today... That building has not been changed that much. No, it's, no, it's the same. It's, it's, it's great. And uh, Mayo mm. has done quite well. Uh, so would, this one obviously is a private ownership. Mm. This is now private. This is the public one, um, which is Mayo County Council. So these prints are for sale? They are. And what we've done with Stefan has agreed some sizes. These are about 8.3, I think is the term here. Display first, but obviously that size, if people wanted them that big, um, that would be nice, but generally, initially, we're putting out 
the A4, the A4s, which is like a standard frame size. Mm -hmm. So um, these have been. So just show you in relation to the the one on the wall, the yeah. differences in sizes there. Um, this comes packaged with the mounting board. It's signed by me. It's marked the mal, and we. Um, Put it together with cellophane, so that's ready to get in the shop. You know, if people, if people want that. Everybody, I think, Ollie there has their own connection to some, not to maybe all three, um, but certainly to one of these places. And uh, I also agree with Stefan that if people want the set, the three, that we will reduce it. So it's forty euros individually in that format, and then if, if they want to buy the three instead of one twenty, we'll do sort of hundred for the three. Mm -hmm. well, sounds, that, you know? that sounds like a fair deal. Yeah, I mean, for male, for male people abroad, or mm -hmm. you know, as we look towards Christmas mm -hmm. very quickly now, um, you know, gifts for people abroad uh, might be an option. A set, I think, I like uh, the idea that the three on a wall, the same size, and have a common theme uh, drawn by the same artist. Do you plan to do any more? Yeah, Ackle, Ackle, I'm under pressure now that I live in Ackle. When people saw these, the first thing was, well, when are you going to do Ackle? Yeah, we've got some nice ones down there now. Yeah. Oh, we should, and yeah. I'll rely on people like yourself to help me f uh, select it. But just yeah. to let people know, it's just a small little kind of a token, uh, token gift to them. We did make up a postcard uh, of the three drawings. Okay, yeah. Little Very postcards. I nice, yeah. uh, must get you some. <laughs> and uh, there's Westport and Warhol and Newport. And um, there's a couple of those in there for people hmm. uh, that goes with it. So who's Stefan? Stefan, mm. I'm not sure actually. He's got, someone said he runs this business. But yeah. I walk in. In the bookshop and. Uh, <laughs> well, this is Stefan here. Who is Stefan? Uh, so you're going to sell some of these for Pat, hopefully. Well, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. You got tell. tell me about your bookshop here in Westport. Well, it's called West Coast Rare Books, which is at times a little bit misleading. Some people think it's only very rare, mm. expensive books. Which is not, it's really antiquarian second hand books. So mm. Try to have a good selection. I also sell a few old maps, mm. photo photographs, mm. and uh, now hopefully pets, mm. ink drawings, yeah. which personally I find fascinating. Well, you shared it, I was surprised when we were talking that you, you yourself. Uh, Frankly, I wouldn't uh, try to sell anything in this shop that I didn't approve yeah. of. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought a lot of stuff here. And it's, uh, but there's a great little space, isn't it? Oh, it's great. Well, well, the shop is bigger outside. This is the back, just the back end of it here, isn't it? How <laughs> many books do you reckon you have here? I started out with around 3,000 in 2017, yeah. and I think I have between 10 and 15,000. Hard what? to say. Wow. By now. Well, there should be something for everybody in that. Oh, God. Oh, no. so I have a Fairly good selection. I have uh, books on many different topics. I mm. do not specialize on Irish only. Mm. So there's world literature, there's world history, as well as Irish literature and Irish history, books in Gaelga, and uh, books on many different things natural yeah. science, philosophy, religion, uh, illustrated books. So you should make a good team to sell some of the pets. We'll see how it goes. And it's just, yeah. it's not actually, I want to thank them because this is the first time I drew these for private reasons in the States. They've never been in public display, either individually or collectively. Mm. So this is a great uh, privilege to have it here. I love books, as you know. I, I, I'm just a passionate person about books. And to be amongst all this gorgeous collection mm. and have my work here, that's fantastic. Well, the two of you should make a good team. Kind of a favour for a good customer. <laughs>